Southern 500, boy, hell of a big time. Here's another South Carolina tradition, a celebration of fellowship, speed, noise, and exuberance so intense that 80,000 people are drawn every Labor Day to the little town of Darlington to help make it happen. It's called a stock car race. They take this kind of thing seriously in South Carolina, especially this race, the Darlington 500, the original stock car race where the country boy's sport came of age back in 1950. Darlington Speedway is the most unpredictable, hairy, and treacherous track in the United States. The track, as they say around here, that's too tough to tame. This is the fourth turn at Darlington, the turn that so many of the drivers consider is the most treacherous turn. You go into the fourth turn, of course, as you go down the straightaway, you have to come back out from the wall. A lot of the younger drivers have to learn this the hard way and they get their colors put on the wall because of it. As you look into the infield, the crowd is growing by the minute. You have people in here that take their vacation time from their jobs just to be a part of this. It's a crowd that you must see it to, or be a part of it to ever really believe what is going on in the infield. This is Labor Day, when the working man is his own boss. And the people who come here this weekend intend with all their hearts, minds, and souls to have the kind of good time where you let your hair all the way down, where you can be yourself completely, where you can relax and not think about anything you don't want to think about. This is a real get-together of good old friends that like to get out and have a good time, eat a lot of food, get some good fresh air, watch a good race or two, and listen to some good music, and just have a good time without worrying about business or anything. Yeah, Darlington's the place to see a guy like Cale Yarbrough, who doesn't look all that different from most of us, attain heroism and hopped up Thunderbird. You gotta win this race today. Well, I hope we can. I got a small farm in Georgia, baby. <laughs> <laughs> well, the fans are very supportive, and fans uh, make you do things sometimes that you really uh, think maybe you can't do. And I think that uh, that's one thing that makes auto racing very big, the fans in the grandstands, the fans in the infield, they'll let you know that they are pulling for you, and they'll let you know that, that you have their support, and it'll make you work that much harder. Cale Yarborough is one of the great champions and a favorite of many in this crowd. He was born and raised in Timminsville, just 14 miles from the Speedway. The first race I came here, I was a spectator. I didn't have enough money to get in the racetrack, so I slipped under the fence. Got in here free and watched the race. And uh, since then, I've been uh, over the fences, under the fences, through the fences with a race car. I've won this race five times, and nobody else has even come close to that. So I feel like that uh, even though the racetrack has beaten me quite often, uh, I've had my share of beating it too. Think you might like to try driving one of these things 367 times around the track at about 155 miles an hour? An economy model will set you back about sixty or seventy thousand dollars. But even if you had one, you wouldn't get very far in it without a crew of ace mechanics like these guys. They've been working since dawn. And now in the final moments before the race, they're doing everything they can to get every last bit of performance out of their machines. Cale Yarber's main competition today is a man who drives this car, Bill Elliott, up from Dawsonville, Georgia. Elliot's one of the best in the business, and he's sure on a winning streak, but he's never beaten this track before. Record crowd is on their feet as we're set to go. Finally, it's time for what everyone has come here to see. The 36th running of the Darlington 500. Gentlemen, start your engine.
way the race is going right now, Bill Elliott, of course, is putting on a good show. Cale Yarber, he's surprising everybody the way he's coming up through the field now. By the 308th lap, fewer than half of the 40 cars that started the race are still running. Cale's ahead, Ironhead Dale Earnhardt is in second place, but a few laps later, he runs into a piece of debris and hits the wall. Cale's got his problems, too. With less than 20 laps to go, and Bill Elliott, his only serious rival, Cale comes into the pit in a cloud of smoke. His power steering hose is burst. Hydraulic fluid is spurting onto the hot engine. The crew cuts the belt. The power steering is gone, but it's not enough to stop Cale. He gets back in the race, trying to stay in control by brute strength. Cale struggles to retake his lead from Bill Elliott, but without power steering, it's like trying to wrestle a rhinoceros. For Yarborough fans and his boys in the pit, it hurts. But Cale is just going to have to give this one up. We just have to come back next season. You know, we've got three more races this year and give it another shot.